welcome to my channel Rumble Canada. Check out these three simple do-it-yourself mods for the Crossman DPMS SBR R1 and MPW that make the Crossman SBR platform better than stock for under a buck. Now I've taken three of my mod videos and put them into one video. Okay, so the first mod that we're going to do here is the rubber grommet mod that holds the barrel in place and seals the magazine to the barrel like this. Now this mod doesn't cost anything to do. All you're gonna need is a 732 drill bit or something close to it. And what I do is I just rework this rubber grommet piece here and open it up just enough so the BB flows through here freely. And if you need to speed things up, you can just put it inside a drill. And all you're gonna be basically doing is taking off just enough rubber inside here to allow the BB to flow through it nice and freely. So here's a quick example. This has been opened up just a little bit to allow the BB to fall through. Easy little mod, very simple. Now, if you wanna see how I modded this, go check out my Misfire video. It'll give you a little bit more information on how I did it. Don't forget to use some Crossman oil or um, rifle oil inside here and you'll never have an issue again. That's our first mod. Now, the second mod is the Shim mod, AKA Spring mod. This has probably got to be the best mod you can do. This mod can also be free if you're lucky and have a washer in the garage, but if you don't, it's about 25 cents. Now the shim makes a difference by adding spring load pressure. This mod helps the hammer hit the valve harder, allowing, you know, more blowback and harder shots. You should see a slight increase in FPS and overall performance from the Crossman SBR platform. All that is needed is a 25 millimeter outside diameter washer, seven millimeter inside diameter at about one millimeter thick. You can try adding one or two washers, but you might experience some coil bind and you don't wanna have that. But I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about here. So this washer here is gonna allow this spring to sit up about a half an inch more giving us way more spring pressure. So that's why putting two in place might cause coil bind, which you don't want. So all that is needed is just one. Again, 25 millimeter outside diameter, seven millimeter inside diameter. What it'll also do is create more spring pressure on this spring as well. Another great mod, if you can find one of these in the garage, if not, again, 25 cents. Before I get into the final mod, um, if you're new to the channel or bored or just sitting down to drop a deuce, why not check out some Rumble Canada videos and support Canadian content. Lots of outdoor content coming like ATV action, ATV mods, fishing, camping, hiking, uh, guitar mods and rock riffs and muscle cars and muscle car mods, BBN pellet rifle mods. So why not like, share and subscribe. And if you like the video, hit the like button. It'll help with the algorithm. Okay. So the third mod, this is a great mod, especially if you plan to keep the stock barrel. I just put a video out on the stock barrel mod. So go check out that video. It'll give you a little bit more information. But basically all we're gonna be doing here is putting five C-clips on the stock barrel. So all you're gonna be doing is snapping these on just like that, putting five in. Before I open it, you can see it centers nice. It doesn't move inside here. So the stock barrel inside the rubber grommet, you can see it's flopping around inside there. After this mod, no more moving around. It stays center. A much better way to secure the barrel inside the grommet. Much better. You won't have it moving back and forth, up and down. It makes the rifle more rigid and way better than stock. Now these C-clips here, all you're gonna need is five of them. And they measure in at 12 millimeters with a six millimeter inside diameter and one millimeter thick. Very simple, put them in, you can spread them around differently. Go check out my uh, stock barrel mod for a little bit more information. But that's it, three simple mods that you can do to your Crossman DPMS, SBR, R1, MPW, making the rifle better than stock for under a buck. I hope you liked the video, please share, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.